Hey. How's it going? Right, let's go break into a film store, shall we? God, it's been a little while since I last played this game. Anyway. Looks like this area is brimming with activity too. Yes, the guild <coughs> police are clearly on top of things. Alright, we've found as much as we can for this. The only thing left to do is close in on our suspect and pounce. Are we ready? The band and company entered the lobby where they found Nina waiting for them. After making some arrangements, they headed to the studio where Shahina and Judith were training. Oh god. Ha! Yeah! Well, what do you guys think? Do you like it? That was awesome. I don't even know how to explain it. That was crazy cool. Yeah, it had a usual carefree energy, but something about it felt a bit more refined too. I like it. Yeah, you're putting your own spin on it. That's different from your sister. Good on you. What's the verdict? Think you should be ready in time? <laughs> Oh, ye of little faith. She will be. We still have plenty of time to fine tune things to fit in with the parade. We need all the time we can get. She's good, but she's still not quite a match for Sarah. But give me the rest of the night, and I'll whip her into shape. Remind you of Salvatore Gotti. Count on you, Mr. Gotti. With your help, I can do this. I just hope my sister. Never mind. I trust you guys. I know you do great. Anyway, Mr. Gotti, I'm ready to learn the next part. Fabulous. Let's go back to work. So when things loop back around. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me. Things sure have taken an interesting turn around here, haven't they? Especially when it comes to those orbital hookahs and how they managed to get so popular. Definitely. Luckily we were able to put the screws to the distributor and get an evidence out of them too. Apparently they've been blasting out sample units all over town under the pretext of it being a campaign commemorating the festival. Additionally, there are signs that they made it into the city without being inspected by the proper authorities beforehand. Unfortunately, it seems like nobody's managed to uncover any direct evidence of Mr. Dillon's involvement yet. Yeah, but he's otherwise got guilty written all over him. No of that pompous ass thinking he could get away with this. Keep in mind, the big chief acted on his own. I guess Gotti's completely in the dark about everything. For now, just keep Shahina and Gotti focused on the task at hand. It's our job to worry about Sarah. We're going to do everything we can to bring her back. Yeah, I know. All we could do is trust you. You think she's really somewhere in this building? At least not the cops and the guild have figured out. No evidence that she ever left. Pretty much rules out any other place she could be. We've also uncovered more information thanks to Mr. Brad and CID. According to them, there are discrepancies between the construction declaration filed a year ago and the constructions from firms and paperwork. Said discrepancies appear to indicate that this building contains an entire additional floor that isn't officially accounted for. <coughs> we suspect it contains some sort of security that only Dylan can get past, as the company president. If Sarah's anywhere in here, she's probably on that floor. But if you can create the right kind of diversion, he'll show us what the tea's really all about. In fact, he is helping to pinpoint which terminal he used to get into that place right now. Judith, come over here. I need your help deciding something. Which of these dance patterns look better? Alright, she's sick. You're looking for Terminal A2. If you're going to attempt anything, that's the one you want. <coughs> Did she just... Sound like somebody was going to act on her own if we didn't. You guys! Sorry to bother you. I managed to find a handful of terminals that can be accessed. The only problem is, they're not the right security level, so I'm not sure which would be the easiest to use to break into... No worries, we've already got it figured out. Yeah, could you please take us to Terminal E2? Oh, dear. Damn it! I didn't expect the authorities to crack down on the Orbal Hookus. 
Oh, this is the end, isn't it? No, 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 not yet. They can't have found any evidence that points to me yet. In which case, maybe I should pull some strings with the police to keep those people away. No, that won't work. Damn it, damn it. Where did I go wrong? I, how did I end up like this? No, no, enough moping. I just need to focus on getting through the film festival. Once I manage that, I can call in a favor with the ruling party and... What is it? Don't you know how late it is? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I'm with security. You have a visitor waiting for you. A visitor? Who could possibly want to see me at this hour? Well, you see, they say there was <coughs> a part of the federal police. They want to speak with you directly. What? I impossible! Uh, they're already on to me? What's wrong, sir? Should I let them through? No, do not! Especially if they don't have a warrant. J just buy me some time. I don't care what you do. Damn it, damn it. They leave me no choice. That was Aaron, 100%. Should I activate the security system just in case? Security system activated. I need to get rid of that evidence, whatever it takes. Finally on the move. I didn't know it was possible to do this with shards. And the same camouflage ones Van used to use to catch me when we first met. That voice modification just now was pretty awesome too. Shards can do that too, huh? They can indeed. Shards can be used in a great many ways by combining them with a hollow. I would be happy to educate you on the specifics some of the time if you have an interest. If you'd like. But this feels a little illegal almost. Anyway, I can't believe this building has such a massive basement. Yeah, turns out Dingo and the CID's intel is rather money. Looks like some kind of research facility. But what I want to know is, what are you doing thought there? you'd notice me sooner than later. <coughs> Whoa, hey. How long have you been up there? You didn't sneak in before us, did you? Mm -hmm. All the info we got from that reporter and the CID led me here. Too bad I wasn't able to fool your boss or the concierge there. I noticed you right away when I deployed those investigative shards. Makes sense you'd be good at this kind of stealth mission then. Even if I did find you, I sure wasn't expecting to. Didn't know everyone's favorite here is a justice for a trespass. We're not when there's any other option. But in this case... There really wasn't one. We can't afford to drag our feet when civilian lives are in danger. So, to cut to the chase? Mind if I tag along with you? Not in the least. We could use your help, Sophie. Then we're good to go. Seriously? Oh, screw it. We don't have time to waste right now. Yeah, we need to rescue Sarah as soon as possible. Right, let's get on gas with the butt. <coughs> it's fine, she won't be used. Oh, well, the game wants to, but I don't. <laughs> she got <coughs> anything I can take off her. Maintenance mode activated. Can't take any reports. No. <coughs> All right. That hits the spot. Oh.
Make it count, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> Sucker. Perfect chance. Hit him fast, Barry. Right now. Burn. I won't lose. Can I impede? Going all in. I'm ready. Now you don't. <clears throat> Seeing this one to Mel. Yeah, we fought things just like that. They've been long for. These aren't society, mate. I'm guessing they're yours. They're indeed security models from our lineup. Wait, what? Oh, I knew your company sold weapons. But... We don't make the weapons ourselves, as that is in our company's purview. Our role is to connect those seeking to purchase weapons with the relevant manufacturers. The hell? You guys are deep in it, huh? The society had a monopoly on that stuff in the underworld for a pretty long while. Recently, Marduk's been stealing a lot of their market share and expanding above board and under the table. That's one reason the guild is so wary, you people. I can't say I blame you for that either. Still, whether or it's good or bad depends on who's using it. I think you weren't aware that these things are being used here. Correct. Vegas Films is not in our client database. I suspect they were procured illicitly. <clears throat> the same is most likely true for the units you fought in Longport. They're all connected to Armata then, huh? So it seems, which makes their presence here further proof of our matters of involvement. Yeah, now well, let's get moving. If we found this much proof already, it's only going to keep coming. Doesn't look like we can go through the front door. No choice but to check out the side corridors then. Let's find the CEO! <laughs> Can't wait to rip off his goofy ass mustache. No way, he's got a goofy arm up there. The help was much appreciated. Sorry, I guess, but I don't remember asking. Oh, <coughs> oh I've got a thing. Oh, what was that? Hadron or something. Wow, okay. We are 100% on that. I don't really want wind. Don't really use that. Shit. 
Donkeys. Clear. Right, let's stuff some food down our faces. Get some gourmet points in as well. Just want to save the Cures KO ones for when we're in a pinch and we don't have the other you know, stuff. Love me a sugar rush. Love me a sugar rush. I think he loves a sugar rush. <sighs> I'm full. That was pretty filling. Well, you're not done yet, mate. That was pretty filling. Long. Thanks for the grub. I am stuffed. That was pretty filling. Mm, I'm stuffed. That was amazing. Thank you. So mm, I'm stuffed. Nice. Thanks for the grub. I couldn't eat another bite. Pretty filling. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> Job done. This 
still hurt. Show me what you got. Now you won't fart. I'll dice you up. Make it count, Aaron. <laughs> Sucker. Your turn, Miss Perfect. Okay. No, it's just hungry bug mother. Take your eyes off me, right? That was amazing, Aaron. You see nobody. and the flame. Like a chest. Wait. Yeah, stop. Wait, why? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's shut off that infrared trap ASAP. Take this now. Let's finish the job. 
Just so I can get round to his back. Do an aerial buster. Make it count, Aaron. Have some more. Perfect chance. Oh, hello. What is all this? It's this plant we found in that cave. They must be what's fueling the Hoopers. And the fact they're here is pretty much the smoking gun for our theories. What do you think these pills are? Probably the enhancement drug they've been using. What? But then... <clears throat> this seems to suggest they're abusing it on a much broader scale. Yeah, I have a feeling this operation was too big to be just for messing with the film festival. This facility must be for researching and manufacturing illegal drugs at least. Yeah, there's probably one of many too. Regardless, this is concrete proof that Vegas Films is connected to the development of unlawful pharmaceuticals. I'll record our findings on this iPhone. Thanks. Hang on, I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't exactly dis admissible evidence. Well, it's a bit of a grey area, but there's ways of getting it to count. Like sending the police in for something unrelated and having them find all this in the process. <laughs> Money laundering but for evidence, huh? Awesome. Ooh, that's a great idea. I remember that one. I feel like some of us are taking the wrong lesson from all this. Whatever works, works, right? <coughs> What's over here? Nobody. Let's get to work! Ah, what the fuck are hit by? Fucking hell, man. Oh, fuck it. Got a 
Fucking camel. Brace yourself. It's all clear. Nice. Oh, that's a big boy. Come on, I get these a second. Thanks, man. Now we're tough. That one looks tough. Let's get to work. We can win right now. Take this. It's new as you lose. <clears throat> this is hurt. Lord Crush. Hit him fast, Barry. Is perfect. You picked the wrong guy to fight. You're a true professional, Van. Hey, that 
one felt pretty good. You did a perfect fairy. Nice. I see you from nobody. Let's get to work. Take this. What do you say we rough them up a little? Gotcha! Get down! Give me your worst! This is definitely a job for a, uh... Um, we got a whole slew of them! Time for the car. main event! Hit him fast, fairy! Gotcha! Sucker! Have some more! Ba -ba -ba. A chance! Ba -ba. Gotcha! Hit him fast, Barry! Have some more! Hey! That one felt pretty good! You did wonderful, Barry! That's all clear. Noise. Big noise. They really went overboard with all the traps. For real, they're such a pain to deal with. That's probably the point. Helps the CEO shake off any pursuers while he makes a clean getaway. I have not made a choice here. Yeah. I'll go get a spin around, hit that switch, I guess. First, huh? A mirror on them being stuffed with exactly that. Guess this must be where the stuff's stored until it could be shipped out. There's so much of it. You're looking at tens of millions of mirrors worth of products in this room alone. I'll inspect the terminal. There might be something of value on it. Looks like a list of the people buying this stuff. Indeed, covering the past half year it appears. Most of it is encrypted, so it'll take time to extract all the details from it. Even so, it's clearly a long list. Seems this drug is rather more widely distributed than we thought. We could just sell this baby to Hayway and have them take care of the dirty work for us. Can't see us finding anything to on our market in here though. Yeah, they're not careless enough to be names and whatnot in a database like this. There has to be something on them on this floor. This, the president would have snuck down here otherwise. Let's go back on his trail. We can't have far enough to go now. Right, wherever he is, we're bound to find Sara too. Let's grab that chest. Like a nice chest. <laughs> 
Up on this way. Huh? Looks like a chest. Good night. This'll hurt. I'll dice you up. Break two. I don't think anyone needs that, do they? A nice van could have one. But what's this? I mean, he doesn't use attack arts, so let's drop mine two for break two. Oh, cracked me back. Clear. All right. Let me save just in case. Station. Hey, let's say we take five. Whew, that hits the spot. Um, I think we just carry on with slots. To be honest, there's still people that don't have all their slots open. He's cheap as fuck, so I'm not going to use that. Um, cataract wave. What the hell?
we do. I won't do it yet. I don't know what she the plan is with her. Right. Now we save. And let's go. This has got to be the place. We should be able to peek inside through this gap. There's Sarah. That girl better not be. She's okay, she's breathing. I suspect she was the minister of sup sup soporific? I don't know, of some sort. Excellent. Once I dispose of this, I'm scot free. After that, I just need to dump the girl somewhere and leverage my political connections to. It's too late to pretend none of this happened. Sorry for showing up without an appointment, Mr. Diller. Kidnapping victim safely secured. You alright, Sarah? Uh. She's exhausted, but her vitals seem stable. You were the handyman those actresses hired. How did you even get in here? This, this is trespassing, you know. You're on our asses about trespassing? Because of the shit you pulled, dumbass. Goes without saying that we'll be paying you back on behalf of our client. But you'll be handing over proof of your honeymoon with your friend, too. Wait, please, let's just talk about this. I'm as much of a victim in this as anyone. They, they blackmailed me into doing their bidding. If you just take her and go without making a fuss, I'll happily give you 10 million Mira. Yes, how does that sound? <whistles> Even now you're still trying to screw your way out of this. You don't know when to give up, do you? I might give it some thought normally, but not while our guests got her eye on us. Ugh, of course you would have. Still, you should really be sure who you're talking to before you're offering bribes. A bracer? This this can't be happening! If you plan on being ex extenuating circumstances, though, we may be able to help. But only if you give us that file. The evidence that illegal drugs are being manufactured here and the real goal of the festival. That, and provide testimony on all you know about all matter. You, you can't be serious! Do you have any idea what'll happen to me if I rat them out? They show no mercy to traitors! You must know that! Please, I can't imagine you know anything that fatal to them. But we can't... We can, but we can take you into witness protection after your arrest. We can even help you flee abroad if that's what you mm. want. I... I really don't know anything. All I did was give them a place to work. That goes for the orbital hookahs they made here too. They just left us orders and ignored us afterwards. I wouldn't be surprised if they'd left Tharbad in the dust by the time the police started their crackdown. I don't even know why those thugs were so interested in Nina and the others to begin with. The whole reason I sent that letter was to try and get them away from danger. Hold on, what did you just say? Ahmad had an interest in Nina, due to Sar and the Prince. No. Holy shit, from above? This thing looks cool as fuck. Hey, get back here. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. I'll be exiting stage left. I'm sure the prince can manage the festival, so you fools can do as you please. You're not getting away. Watch out. A warrior model. Society used to use ones like this. It's a close combat prototype based on the models of which you speak. It reported to be installed enough to deliver to a client, but I don't expect to find it here. This came from you guys too? Hey, suggestion? Stop making so much dangerous shit. I do apologise, but filing complaints will have to wait. Yeah, let's take this thing down and get on his tail. Right, Roger. Who's Roger? Gone. Go time! 
Get the buffs going. Okay, yeah, now calm down, man. Seen this one already, anyway. Rise and shine, small fry. Please give me power. Yeah, you're finished. Take me. should buy me enough time. I've had enough of dealing with criminals. I just want to get out of the country and... Criminals? Such a cruel label. Oh boy. Here I was thinking we were friends. You... You were... Just how could you be so cold, Gaspar Dillon? What do you think? He performed his role well. I will commend him for that. 
Rest assured, dear Dylan, that we will make this a festival to remember. It's time we served you as the opening act. Now, let us see your fear. No, 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 no! Oh, we did it. Yep, that takes care of that. We defeated it two minutes faster than I anticipated. Well done, everyone. Would you call it with the pre-battle combat analysis? Where am I? What happened to the parade? Where's Shahina? Sara. That's right. Now we just gotta go after it. Yeah! What's that? Stay here with Sara. Right. Damn it all. We're too late. Board of the Film Festival, not here. Jesus. So we meet again. You're not the only one excited to cross paths again so soon after the Hooper business. Hello, detectives, good to see you. Oh. Can you believe it, Yes, I was supposed to finally get a nice, quiet night off. Till this guy here. Stow that moaning. The drug situation and the gravity of it is one matter, but this is entirely different. You can't go trespassing and conducting searches without a warrant. It's a big idea. Why is a bracer involved? A bracer is involved because regulations dictate that rescuing a citizen in distress takes priority over other concerns. I have permission from our headquarters. I haven't broken any international treaties, technically. And these people aren't vigilantes. Think of them as assistants who have been retained to help the guild with this mission. Hm. Wow, she came prepared to talk to police and everything. Smooth, throwing the law right back out like that. I'm impressed. Same. Not that I'd expect anything less at this point. You must be the guild's hot new ace. You're a real pain in my neck, you know that. Our business isn't over. I expect you to come and meet to check the crime scene later. And as for you, Arkwright, you better be prepared for another interview in the future, understand? Yeah, yeah, that will clear. I'll keep my schedule open. Talk to you later, Inspector. Sarah! Shahina, I'm so sorry. You must have been worried sick. It's not your fault, you dummy. But, but, but you don't have to do everything by yourself. I'm gonna help out too from now on. Thank you, Shahina. I heard how hard you've been working for me. You've really grown up, haven't you? <laughs> Sora! <coughs> oh, so good to see him together again. You telling me? Let's work back there, darlings. That can't have been easy. It's probably ain't over yet, though. Unfortunately. I can't believe Gaspar was running around with gangsters. And then to get get killed off like that after being led around and used by them. It's insane! We're lucky the file with the evidence is left intact. That's our one silver lining in all of this. But I just can't stop thinking about that message that was left at the murder scene. Our friend from Mongport Stark strikes again. Son of a bitch making a big scene at something that awful. He can't get away with this. I'm just as worried about him as the rest of you. But there's still something else we've got to figure out. Sarah might be back safe and sound with his sister. And the threatening notes won't be a concern any longer. But our question is, what the hell is going to happen with the film festival? That is a good question. Yeah, we're talking about a murder case tied to drugs. One where the culprit with ties to organised crime is still at large. As much as I hate to admit it, honestly, I don't know if I see a way forward. Hmm. No way. We just rescued Sara. She deserves a happy, dancy ending. 
Sure, but I can only imagine how exhausted she is after all that. Sure as hell doubt she's got it in her to dance at the parade. Then does that mean the event here will end up just like Macedon's festival? What about that? It certainly shall not. Not on my watch. Your Highness, didn't realize you were here. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Everything will go on tomorrow as planned. That goes for both the film festival itself, as well as the carnal cavalcade. For real? Are you sure it's a good idea to keep going? Yes. I met with the other sponsors earlier to discuss it. In light of the circumstances and the money spent promoting the festival, we all agree we'd rather avoid last minute delay or cancellation. As for President Dillon's death and criminal case, we already have measures in place to delay those public announcements. What he said. With His Highness's help, I've contacted every news organisation to coordinate things. When the heck did you do that? Do you tell me business interests prevailed on this one? Well, if you wish to be blunt about it, yes. I'm resigned to being at the mercy of such politicking these days, thanks to my position, as much as it pains you to admit. Sure, but I imagine it's not all business. There's a certain someone the Prince adores who's worked hard the last two years too. Indeed. And just like him, if I'm going to put on this festival, I want to do it right and make it one worth remembering. Certainly the rest of you agree, yes? Yes. That's why we hired Van and his assistants to help us in the first place. Right. We've been preparing for this thing for all these months and now it's almost here. We've got to see it through. Precisely. Can't shut my precious parade now. Not when it's so close to coming together. Hmm, I can't imagine the police or guild would be very happy to hear this news. Yeah, I'm honestly still really sceptical about moving forward with this. Especially not while Dylan's killer is still on the loose and while we're clueless about where that puppet master of ours is looking. But perhaps if we could task someone with keeping a close eye on what's happening on the shady side, I could be convinced to recommend otherwise. Now oh, I get it. So that's why His Highness is here. That it is. I have an from task for you all. It is simple. I'd like you to continue to keep watch over Tharabad until the end of the festival. Oh, uh, well. Of course, we intend to be fully prepared for anything as well. However, since you've all proven yourselves with this Vegas Films business, I think you're more than up to the task of pitching in. Sure took you long enough to say goodbye to us. I'm certain it could be attributed to all the hard work you and the rest of the company have put in these past two days. I'll compensate you well for your effort, have no fear. Consider it an apology for our transgression this afternoon. I won't ask you to go to too much trouble. We can still focus on enjoying the festival and parade, if you please. What do you say? Do it for me too, you guys! Please! I'm confident my sister will feel all better by tomorrow. Even if she doesn't, I'll be ready to take her place anytime. I want to put my training to use. I want to show everyone the dance we came up with that says Nina Saras. Shahina. Well, I know this might be really selfish of me to ask after everything you've done to help us both, but I want you all there for us too. Please, Van. On yes. Everyone. Can you do it? Well, damn. I was hoping to do a little sightseeing before we made our way home, too. But at this point, in for a curum, in for a torum. If you're gonna sweeten the deal that much, far be it for me to say no. We've come this far to make sure everything goes without a hitch. We may as well see it through to the end. It's not like we have to do much different, either. <laughs> Bunch of overachievers. I guess I'll play along if the rest of you care that much. Then we've got a deal. We'll make this thing as glitzy as can be, so we can send old Gaspar off in style. Oh, hey, I know! What if we have all of the performers decked out as street dancers, like Sara and Shahina? That could pack a real punch! Ah, uh, you know, that just might work! Nina, don't. You sure have a way of following him off the deep end sometimes. Anyway, will that be ready in time? Of course. I'll see to it that it is. We can never be too prepared. Hmm. Afterwards, once things appear to settle down around Vegas films, Van and his cohorts return to the inn. As a precaution, Sara was placed under brace of protection for her own safety. She and her sister therefore spent the night on the second floor of the local guild branch. This isn't a game, you know. Either way, you should get some rest. 
trust me, the beds here are nice and comfy. Yay! Sounds like we scored, sis! Oh, crap. I need to get a change of clothes. Want me to come with you? That's okay. Our house is practically around the corner. You two go on ahead. Shahina, wait! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad Sara made it out of that safe and sound. Makes me wonder if Arusha brought us together with Van and his friends. Honestly, I wouldn't actually mind if he dated... Why, hello. Lovely night we're having, isn't it? Huh? Oh, shit. It's fair to say that I truly love films. In the 20 years since they first emerged in Calvert, they've become a true art form. One that will continue to spread throughout Zemuria. I think this is the same guy who voices Prince Oliver. The world of the silver screen is enthralling and ever-evolving, capturing the hearts of audiences with its thrilling brand of drama. The fact so many of you have flocked to this desert city to celebrate them speaks volumes about the power of film. Oh, Shaheen is there. Hmm. I would, of course, be remiss not to acknowledge the cancellation of the Meseldon Film Festival two months ago. A most tragic event. Its loss, however, so what did shall not do? diminish our shared and love for this virgin medium, even if our passion for it takes various shapes. Above all else, may this festival serve as an expression of that innate richness and diversity. As Prince of Elsa, I, Sharid Oswald, am pleased to announce the commencement of the first Thar Bad Film Festival at noon. We'll be awarding the Leon Door, as well as putting on the Carnal Cavalcade. Two events you won't want to miss. But enough rambling from royalty. To everyone attending, may your time here be joyous. Welcome to our cinematic celebration. t -posing. I just punched the radiator. Damn, this town's really coming to life now that it's the big day. Yeah, I don't know if any of the other festivals I've ever seen compared to this. Seems like the information blackout or what happened with Dylan's working is intended to. Not that I was worried with Renee looking after it. Between that and the Orbal Hooker incident, he's certainly proven to be an impressive individual. I have mixed feelings on everything, but I'm definitely glad to see everyone's hard work paying off. Even if we can't rest easy just yet. That we can't. There's still the Carnal Cavalcade at noon, plus the big award ceremony. It's entirely possible that trouble could strike during either of those things. I'm not saying we can have, can't have fun and enjoy ourselves, just stay on the lookout for anything suspicious. Yeah, yeah, we knew the drill by now. You want us to take a stroll around town or check out for any new 4SPGs that come in, yeah? Nothing we haven't done before. So this is how our Operate Solutions goes about conducting its risk assessment work. But I'm very interesting. It's gonna be okay, you guys. We're gonna put our experience from Longport to UCO too. Also, I think we should check on Shakina and Sara and see how they're doing. Definitely. I'm worried about Sara. Hopefully she feels better after a good night's sleep. Ugh, no rest for the weary, it seems. Guess we got a full plate for our last day in town. Let's get to work, folks. Oh, uh. oh excuse me. Oh, hey guys, morning. Good to see you're brimming with energy after all that craziness yesterday. How you doing, Sarah? You holding up too? 
Yeah, I'm mostly for fine after getting some sleep. Thanks for asking. I decided to have Shahina fill in for me at the parade anyway, just to be safe. So I was just helping me out, helping me put on the finishing touches to my act, as a matter of fact. You're going to do great, Shahina. For all that practice you got in yesterday, there's no way you won't. Thanks, Harry. You're right. I'm going to go out there and blow everyone's minds. I'll show my dance they won't ever forget. Believe it. Oh yeah? Someone's been fired up. I mean, you saw what happened yesterday. Both me and my sister got kidnapped. Not to mention all the other stuff. That had to literally be the nuttiest day of my entire life, no doubt. So you bet that I'm going to make up for all that stress by making it the best day ever. By a long shot. It's going to be so good we won't even have time to remember any of the bad stuff that's ever happened to us. Nobody will. But it'll only happen if I give it my all. That's why I'm so amped up. Your resolve is truly admirable. With you there, I'm sure the parade will be spectacular. And Sarah, I want to know you've got nothing to worry about. I can handle the spotlight. I'll shine as bright as the sun when I dance on that float, just like you would. Brighter than anyone else around, in fact. You can count on it. Shahina, thank you. I'll be watching from the crowd, for from you. Poor you, then. Hmm. Also, thank you so much for looking out for us. I know we've really put you through the ring over the last few days. Ah, that's all good. I took this job knowing it might not be as easy, but we'll see it through. There is one thing I want to make clear, Shahina. We've done our best to minimise any uncertainty going in today. I can't promise that the film festival will go completely without a hitch. But I can promise that whatever happens will take care of it one way or another. So don't worry about what might happen. Leave the what ifs to us. You just you both go out there and live it up like you should. You bet. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Knowing you here is so reassuring. I know I can trust you. <coughs> I just hope I'm imagining things either way. Well, all we can do is focus on the here and now. Whatever happens, happens. And everyone, excellent timing. It's just about to come to talk to all of you. And Sharid, and Nadia's with you too. Not to mention our two favourite actresses. And even Sylphie, it's a party. It's quite the crew you got here, Your Highness. What's the occasion? Well, His Highness invited us over. We figured taking a bath here would be a nice way to freshen ourselves up for the parade and the award ceremony. As for me, I want to take a, deep, a dip at least once while I was here anyway, so I was hardly about to say no. But, as nice as it is to be accompanied by such lovely ladies, it'd be a bit lonely in the men's bath, so I wanted to invite you all as well. We appreciate the offer. What do you say, Mr. Arkwright? We do still have time to spare before the parade officially begins. You bet we're coming in. Wouldn't dream of missing something like this. Not every day you get to rent out an entire bathhouse, after all. You'll take just about any excuse as long as it gets you in the door, huh? <laughs> well, fine's not wrong, is it? It's the spot. Something about having an entire bath yourself really just makes all your aches and pains my way. Aches and pains? Man, you are old as dirt if you're talking like that. Today's only just begun, Gramps. And yet I know exactly what van means. My schedule is usually more hectic than you might think. Times like this where I can relax and wind down burden are a precious commodity. It's an opportunity to re-examine myself inside and out, pushing everything away and becoming a new me in turn. See this man here? He understands. That's exactly it, Your Highness. I've always felt that way. Bathhouses definitely serve a social function, but they're first and foremost the place to engage with yourself, at least in my opinion. Just so! With a mindset like that, I can definitely see you going fire like that. Oh, great. As if one on fire in my life wasn't enough, now I get to share a bath with two of them. Forget all that m meditative shit. Let's have some fun. A little test of endurance. Who's in? Didn't you hear a word I said? This is a sacred place. Not somewhere you can just screw around and actually I quite like that idea. Nothing like a friendly bout to bring two souls together in spiritual harmony. I don't know about spiritual whatever, but at least I gotta take her. What about you? Too scared to take me? Not that I blame you when it's clear as day which one of us is more stamina. Don't get so full of yourself, kid. Alright, you wanna play? I'll play. Excellent. Finally an opportunity to set an iron finished business from back at the sand sea. As ever I can hear our mighty men getting rowdy on the other side. Oh, for the love of men, my fuller. Might as well be a bunch of kids. Oh, I'll have to report this to his highness's sister later. Later, Probably for the best. She only sounds like she's got her act together. Glad someone out there can make a dent in it. 
Speaking of someone making a dent, Judith, I noticed you've warned Dr. Van and his assistants. How did that happen? Uh, are you out of your mind? Exactly how do I look like I've warned up to them? It's just a feeling I have. Oh, shut up. Don't give me that cheeky smile and giggle. So that's what happened to Ida. Thanks for filling me in. I really appreciate it. Your boss told me a little about it before, but I'm still glad I got to hear it from your side as well. Sounds like she was an amazing woman right at the very end. Yeah, she was. I really admired her. I was really hoping to get together with her or Zeno and Leo one of these days. It's not enough to lose the boss. She had to up and go too, I guess. I'm sorry, Kate. No, that's okay. I'm sorry for getting all gloomy there. Besides, it wasn't all lost for either of us. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Oh, what do you mean? Ah, oh, she was something of an older sister to both of us, yeah? That gives us a personal connection, and now we're coming together because of it. I don't know about you, but I feel like what we have can turn into something special. <gasps> a lesbian incestual minor traps? Yeah, you're right. Same here. I'd have talked about you too, you know. I think she also wanted to see you again. Can't imagine this is how she ever thought we would meet up. I'm so glad we got to talk. It's been great. I'm glad to think so too. I know I'm no replacement for Ida, and I don't want to be either. But I am a former Jaeger. What I've seen, I get the feeling our combat stuff like pretty well. So if you ever have any questions or stuff, just ask. I'm more than happy to talk. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a great place to start, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Thanks, V. In that case, can I ask you something right now? Sure, what is it? You see, there's something that's been bothering me ever since we came in here. All the other girls are, what's something Aaron would you say? Packing heat or something like that? How can I be like all of them? Okay, that's about the last thing I was expecting you to ask. You know, it's, an, it's a natural question. I'm packing heat. Sorry, do you think there's no hope for me? Wow, it's true that Nina and Judith are really beautiful, and the other girls are easy on the eyes too. Still, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Yeah, 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 it's warm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got a lot of time to grow, you'll get there. You really think so? I think so, I know so. We used to be pretty similar to you, Then I had a growth spurt right around the time I turned 18. Hey, you two, mind if I join you? Ah, oh, I hope I grow up to be just like Agnes one day. Hmm, quick question, Agnes. You go to Aramis, yeah? Yeah, I'm a first year, though. Now you're first year and you're already like that. You remind me of a certain class president I knew. Class president? Why? It's nothing, really. Anyway, Barry, getting back to our discussion. Truth be told, it's also important to know your limits and recognise you don't have everything others do. It's part of being an adult. That's not what you said before. Uh, what are you two talking about? Forget it, it's got nothing to do with you. Jesus, I can't even begin to imagine what it's like having the things that you do. Uh, huh? Why do I just find, suddenly feel like the old one out? <laughs> no comment. Oh, can I lose to a punk ass like him? Guess your age is catching up to you, huh, Gramps? I wish I could say you were wrong, but, but... Well, I for one had a fine time, even if I was the first to lose. Thank you for joining me, both of you. I'll have to do this again sometime. This communing as men. <laughs> Buddy, if you want to commune as men, I know some good monasteries of the night if you catch my drift. That sounds like a grand idea. Count me in. Your Highness, I urge you to consider your position before making such commitments. Ahem, <clears throat> pardon me. I was merely kidding, of course, yes. <laughs> no problem. I'll have to be sneaky to make sure you don't get caught by a scary ass bodyguard. Don't give the guy any ideas. I really wouldn't push your luck when it comes to that woman. For as silly as those guys can be, at least they seem to be having fun. True, but I don't know if we should be especially happy about it in this case. Anyway, I think we're going to chill here a little long before we head out. We're counting on you guys to get us through the parade and everything else. Then that's down. I hope you's okay, Hannah. And that everything's alright. Not to worry. With us on security, everything's under control. You two ladies focus on putting on a good show.
Um, yeah. Um, struggling with sleep. Work's been kind of rough. But, I mean, me personally, I'm okay. Same old, same old. Nothing new. Who do you beat up? No, there's no one to beat up. I'd like to think I can at least beat people up for myself, you know? Little, like, five foot four Anna trying to beat people up, you know? They just, like, hold out their hand and you're like, eh, eh. Sorry, I don't know why I'm roasting you when you're trying to fucking fight for me. Point some? Okay. Any gumshoe, any progress in your investigation? Yeah, come beat me up. It's you again. Where you get off? What makes you think I have to tell you anything about how my work's going, huh? I mean, we were the first ones to find the dude. Can't act like you've got nothing to do with the case. It's slow going. We still don't know the name of our culprit. Melchior. And obviously that's only because he wrote it himself. It's a shame. So if any boys would have found some leads on where the scumbag might be lurking, I guess not. We don't. We still haven't been able to ascertain how he broke into the building and then subsequently got out. We were able to confirm that from the files left behind that the victim had connections with organised crime. But aside from that grisly graffiti, the perp highly left a trace of evidence. Whoever he is, it's clear he's a skilled assassin who knows his business. A spooky. Melchior. It would seem finding him will not prove an easy task. Eh, yeah, it's not like I really expected the cops to turn up anything in the first place. Well, excuse the hell out of us. I had to leave my girlfriend high and dry to investigate the scene, you know. I'm doing my best here. I wasn't trying to mock you, man. I'm just saying that that's the sort of slippery bastard we're up against. Sounds like this isn't your first run-in with this your character, hmm? Putting that aside, the perpetrator remains at large. And he hoped nothing happens during the film festival. That reminds me. I heard you kids were helping out with the security on the parade, is that true? More or less. I wouldn't say it's any of the officials, so much as just something will be doing as part of our assignment, but yeah. I realize it might be too late to say this, but don't go stepping into anything too dangerous out there, understand? Leave that kind of work to police professionals. We can handle it. Appreciate the advice, Inspector, thank you. What she said, I'll keep it in mind. Come on, I like how you're going to. <sighs> what am I going to do with you all? Uh -huh. Detective, please do stay safe. This fucking guy, he was like. Okay, we're finished making our rounds. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Not much else to do now, so chill out and wait for the parade to start. Ah, uh, okay. And don't worry, Anna, I'm like 5'2 or whatever, so it's all good. You're probably taller than I am. I mean, I'm, I know you're not, but it's fine. What have we got? One. Oh, looks like bromotti has got some work for us. So he said good to us. We should give him a hand. Handy. Uh, 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 uh. This year's been awesome. <sighs> oh, she's me. on the lower floor, so I knew that. Hell to the yeah! Bare ass skin as far as the eye can see! Huh? What's so special about bare skin? Aaron, don't answer that. <gasps> and please watch what you say around the child, hmm? Welcome to my Cheers to Tharbad. Welcome to my adult oasis. Cheers to Tharbad. Well, that was fast. I didn't expect to see you dying so soon. And I didn't expect to see a post from you. Why go through the trouble? Could have rung me up directly. No, never mind. I knew you were going to say that. But it's important to do these things the right way. I want to ask you help as a proper job, not just as a favour to a friend. 
Even if I do feel a little bad dragging you sweethearts out here over someone like this. That's why it sounds like a real bind to be on the day of the tournament. I ask what sort of cocktail you intend to make. Of course, it'd be hard for you all to do your job otherwise. Essentially, the main task of the tournament has been announced so contestants can plan ahead. The judges want us to come up with our version of a Tharbad Knight. No prize for guessing what's it's named after. And it's a prize all its own. Our I ordered that shit at a nightclub and it was great. Not too sweet, just a bit I like it. Wait, you mean the other night? Yes, Ferry. And the boys decided to have a nice fun night out on the town. Without us. By themselves. Don't mind them, you were saying? Ah, <laughs> oh, you silly poms. Anyway, normally a Thorvad night is blue. Mind you, there's a sky at night, you see. You even sprinkle in some gold leaf cut into the shape of stars for good measure. I can see why they make a drink like that. Stars out in the desert are so pretty at night. Indeed. Not the light pollution from the urban areas. Clear night skies would be breathtaking. Exactly. It's a beautiful drink. You can see why they want us putting our orange spin on it. For my part, I'm going to give it a little intrigue, you might say. I'm going for the life of an inf information broker and the sweet calm nights spent reveling in the dangerous secrets. In drink form. And I'm going to do it by adding a red hue to it. Turning it into a gradient. Wow, sounds so mature. Makes me wish I was older so I could try it. it. Does sound fascinating, and like something only you can make, Bromotti. Oh, you two, sweet as grenadine. On that note, for the redness, I plan to use the juice of a red cactus. Hard to find, but the colour is perfect for my needs. With that, I'm going to accent it with some black pomegranate on top. And it's those two things you need to fetch, right? Just so. Strictly speaking, it's by no means unheard of to find these things for sale in town. But like I said, red cactus itself isn't easy to get your hands on in the wild, so finding it at the market could be dicey. And as for the pomegranates, I specifically want ones from a luxurious kind grown in valleys, or valleys, or I don't know, known as nocturnal suns. I have heard of those. They get a name for the shining black luster that makes them stand out even in the dark of night, supposedly. They certainly do. I'd have been more shocked if you of all people hadn't heard of it. These fruits also only show up once in a blue moon. And if they're going to be anywhere, it'll be the bizarre the cultural district. Unfortunately, my pickiness has come back to bite me and I'm nearly out of time. You would think I'd know better, but alas, here I am. Dug my own grave and now here lies Bromotity. Rest in peace. Hey, nothing wrong with wanting to put your best foot forward to win. Can't see these crazy touches if you not pay off when the time comes. Even so, that does not change the fact that we have little time to spare if we go to track down these ingredients. Yeah, especially since we're running on a tight schedule. Gotta make a decision. Alright, we're in. You did a hell of a job analysing that drug earlier. The least we can do is help you with this. Oh, hush, that wasn't much of a big deal. But thanks, hon. I really appreciate it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Right now we've got a squat. We're we supposed to start looking for these things anyway. Luckily for you, a merchant in town offered me some clues. For one thing, apparently red cactus only grows in a particular part of the sand sea. And that's the part where the sandstorm tends to be brutal, no less, making it hard for anyone to set foot in it. The way he made it sound, it's always a challenge at best to harvest. If that's the case, it would be nice if we could somehow obtain the juice without having to venture out into the desert. I think it would still be worth the trip, to be honest. It's risky, but it also seems like our best shot is success. Yeah, and we were out there yesterday. We know our way around. it will be fine. Very well. Desert is. So to sum up, we'll find the red cactus in the desert and the pomegranates lurking in the bazaar if Lady Luck's on our side. We can start with either one. Whichever's easiest to get to as we make our rounds across the town. Thanks again, darlings. Don't gonna get to go berserk just for little old me, though. If there's too much, I'll live. You have my support, Mr. Arkride. Sheesh. Taking off now. Oh, I really want a coffee. I need my fucking caffeine hit. I'm gonna put some clips on my coffee. I'll be back in a sec. There's like this vibration that I can feel going through my chair. Why did a living fire block just land on me? 
guess it's time yeah, to announce that I have a built-in dildo chair. Um, okay. What am I doing? For three hours a day, I sit on a dildo while streaming. Ooh. It's up my ass. Wow. <laughs> what other guns can I get right now? Don't make that face to me. Oh! Can I move closer? What, are you cold? Your ears are like ice. You wanna come into my room? Merry Christmas. Lying. Don't don't believe the media. Don't believe them. It's a lie. Don't. Be <laughs> so formal of me. Weird. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace. Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! Can you behave? Hmm. No, 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 no. Huh. Next up, the You're big You're not finale. behaving. Yeah. How are you? What? I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking you're not about behaving. what we might face next. I thought you're biting me. But you know, oh, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Bite my hand. Who's that? Oh, nice. Broken Chris is now alive. So thanks, Twitch. I'm so glad I knew that. Guys, does anyone else know that? Broken Chris is now streaming! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Let me just go watch it. Oh wait! Why should we hire you? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay you down, shit on your chest, then just smack it, then put a bit on your lip, then scoop it off you and <laughs> stomp it down the drain, then set your pubes on fire and jizz them out. It's the egoists. I was not. I was, I was saying it wrong. It's the egoists. Um, look. How's <laughs> so? How are you feeling? Well, blank. You're welcome. Okay. Fuck you. You want my cummies? Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I want your cummies. We're just gonna try and get away from this pack. Clip. <laughs> How much when are we going to Samcom? Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. That makes me extremely uncomfortable. Alright. Not a Sam font. <laughs> Sam, when are we going to Sawcon? Sawcon? Yeah! What, like the film? Sawcon D's nuts, mate. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, I am actually just. I'm going back to town. <laughs> <laughs> fucking utter. <laughs> oh, I got that from the Link the Doctor video as well. You are an utter twat. <laughs> Like, you can whisper, I think. Or, like, you know, you can try and be quiet. Oh, fucking hell! Why is that in the game? We're going down with them. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh.
That that is voice acting right there. Uh oh. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, I need to uh, remind myself what the key bindings are. Then one day, what the? <gasps> And ran to the harbor screaming, I must go back to her. What's the happening? Kahuna was furious. What? What? <laughs> I can see why the Kahuna was furious. She's out to go on him. <laughs> uh, unless I find something better to play, so. <laughs> For the record, I held shift, but it just walked. That's my book coming out. Uh, I'm glad you asked, because, uh, uh, Here it is! First ever- Ah! My fingers! Ah! First ever produced! Here we go. Ready? Oh, it's falling apart. That's how ancient the, the scripting is. The writing is ancient Egyptian. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Paul from the tear. <laughs> My God, Chris Paul from the tear. <laughs> oh God! I can't fucking do it. So fucking dumb. This is not good. Taken out by a chunk of meat. <laughs> oh, come on, Linda. Here she is. Where are you two, bitch? She's a farmer. Come on, Linda. Hope to see you then. I love you all. Have a good evening. Notch, I swear to God, if you copyright claim this fucking YouTube video because it's 10 hours of Minecraft calm music, I swear to fucking God, I will end you. I will end. Watch my step. No need. I'm Max Payne. The step needs to watch me.
Oh, sick! You just fucking force pop. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope, that's, I hope that's played back on stream. What the fuck was that? Why well, you got <laughs> fucking speedy shoes on? My wife hated rats. The other one didn't happen. Alright, we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Absolute disaster. I just described your birth. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm sorry. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Somebody spam Alex P in the chat. Look, there it is over there. There it is again. There he is. That's a clip, in it? <laughs> right. <laughs> that was the wrong scene, but it's fine. No one noticed. Because no one's fucking here anyway. <laughs> oh, Need some spices, perhaps. <gasps> Hello. Thanks for shopping. Can we talk? No. Wait, I asked her. Well, he can't talk to me. Because he's not related to me. Oh my, you're looking for a nocturnal sun too. This is surprisingly in demand today. Is that to say we're not the only ones who have asked you about it? Right, there was another customer before you who bought them from me. I should clean out my entire stock. All ten of them, as a matter of fact. All of them? Does that mean you have no more left to say? Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Nah, it's not your fault. We just got an urgent need for some... Um, I'm trying to find some as quickly as we can. Luck just wasn't on my side this time. We'll try this somewhere else. Thanks for your time. Actually, before you go, can I ask what you want it for? You don't mind. Sure, I didn't see the harm in that. Basically. Oh, I see. Thank you for clearing that up. You know, you might want to talk to Philica or Phyllisa. See if she'll let you have some of her stock. She's the one who brought it from me. You said her name was? Where is she located? She runs an ice cream stand in the entertainment district. She's a regular customer of mine. Tell her I sent you. Make sure we'll be willing to help. Can't make any promises though. We understand. Thank you for the advice. I sincerely appreciate it. What we'll give you now is a time to negotiate and see what happens. Yeah, not like time's on our side here. We should run over to that stand. The cocktail's not going to fix itself. It's strange that you get the help, Aaron. What gives? In any case, I agree with Aaron. The entertainment district's clearly our best lead. Thanks for talking to us, man. No, no problem. I love finding those pomegranates. Pop 
hologram is not. All right. Then let's head over. Okay. Again, then. This is quite impressive. Don't be shy. Take a look. Let me ask you something. Yeah, that's right. I'm the one who bought the nocturnal sun off Manir. I plan to make a limited time flavor for my ice cream and make a killing selling it to rich people with equally rich appetites. Sounds like you're a born merchant. I could split the hustle. My friends at the film festival when I make the real money. It would be stupid not to have something lined up for the occasion. Anyway, what brings you guys here? You're on the pornogram at Hunt too? Sure, that makes sense. But I gotta make a living too, you know. I can't go around giving away ingredients like these for free. But if you were to sweeten the deal and make it worth my while, I'd be willing to consider giving you some. What sweetening of the deal did you have in mind? Mira, you f Don't worry, I'm not trying to be freeloaders. Tell you what, well, if you go ahead and make some of this new flavor of yours, I'll we'll give you an honest review of it. Taste test, them. Huh? Hmm. I assure you, the insight we can offer would be quite valuable to you. Mr. Arkwright especially has a very refined palate for sweets. In fact, he is something of a celebrity for it in such circles. Wow, I didn't know he was that famous for it. He's not. It's called upsetting. Now zip it. Alright, deal then. I was thinking I needed some opinions anyway. I can tell this ice cream is still missing a certain something, but I'm not sure of what. Well, I'll only offer the pong grants if your reviews really impress me. How about three of you step up and tell me what you think? Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Ban's got to be one of the reviewers, obviously. You only offered to tell her what you think because you want to taste that ice cream for yourself, don't you? Be honest. Shut up. No, I don't, punk. Whatever you say, chief. How about we had the kids be the other two reviewers? Really? You sure? Sounds like a really big responsibility. I don't know if I can give a useful review of the cup like that. It's not a problem. You don't need to take it that seriously. Simply giving her an honest opinion would be helpful, I'm sure. Are you ready? I'll have that ice cream right up for you folks. Here in just a few minutes. Several minutes later, Van, Agnes and Fairy received their ice cream and gave it a taste test. Mmm, it's so sweet. You're kind of sour. I love it. It has a really good balance between sweetness and sourness. I can see this being a really great flavour to have during the summer. Other than that, uh... Uh, well... The girls basically got it in one. This has an incredibly refreshing taste that goes perfectly with Tharabad's hot climate. I could have it over and over again easy. Yeah? That's great. That's exactly what I was gunning for when coming up with the recipe. Here's a question for you. Are you using pure fruit juice for this ice cream? Yeah, that's right. Why do you ask? So I think you got the sweetness right, but it could be taking better advantage of the sharp sourness from the pomegranate. Have you thought about adding some pulp to your mix? It would probably help change out the texture too. I did try that and you're not wrong. It did have a nice accent. The problem is, even when I do that, it's still not punchy enough. What about the seeds, then? I've never heard of mixing seeds into ice cream. Will they be too hard and make it taste tart? Nah, think about it. Think about black pomegranate says they like hot, dry weather. The fruit itself is big, while the skin is shallow and the seeds are small and soft. Something like a nocturnal sun, you can eat the seeds whole, no problem. They're actually not tart at all, quite the opposite. They smell nice and nutty. You get that in there, and I think you'll achieve an accent that offers a full pomegranate experience. Interesting. I hadn't given it so much consideration. Alright, you win. Thanks for such detailed advice. Would three pomegranates be enough for you? More than enough. Are you sure you don't mind? Nah, promise is promise. How could I deny you guys anything after getting schooled so thoroughly? Yeah, we did it, Agnes. Well, I think Ban gets most of the credit for this one, Ferry. No, no. Those from the hip reactions helped a lot too, girls. Glad you enjoyed the ice cream. That's what counts. Now I can make the perfect ice cream that will really bring in those high flying customers. I wish you luck with your new ice cream. It sure, it'll be a great success. Oh, thank you. I'll tell you, bartender friend, I hope this pomegranate's helping make something special too. Are we room for him? We'll do. You're doing a real solid. We appreciate it. We'll get out of your way now. Nice. Now all that's left is to find that red cactus, right? 
Yep, next stop, the sand sea. Oh, I sand sea. <laughs> oh, it looks like the last portion is unlocked. The wind flow is different today. It's blowing in a completely different direction. That may be a sign that the sandstorm has moved elsewhere. Almost there. Watch it. That one's big. Hmm. It's not in you only. I'm not interested. Oh, there's a chest over there. That I'm interested in. Looks like some good loot. Like a chest. Another amethyst ring. What the shit is that? Deploying shark. Why here? This'll hurt. Now you will fart you. It's over. Make it count, Aaron. No fart, bro. Eat this, sucker. You got this. Falcon talent. Get out of here. Hurt. Now you will guard murder. 
Your crotch. Hit him fast, Barry. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Hmm. What does salt do? Oh. If I put amethyst ring in there, I can't. What does it do again? What have you got? That's definitely good. I just don't know where to put it. Oh, oops, shut up. A slot open the entire time. Uh, a wind thing would be really good. What does she have? She's got lots of Mirage stuff. Get rid of that, I guess. to this guy. I'm sure we've got something better than that. Anyway. Let's just do a quick run around which there's no enemies we haven't fought. Yeah, 
There we go. There it is, red cactus. Sweet. We should have a bunch of it and make a killing back a turn. Don't even think about it, pal. Let's limit ourselves to a small portion and be on our way. Great, now we've got both of the ingredients. We should be good to go, right? Yep, let's drop these off over a mighty so we can do his thing with them. Just fucking travel there. Oh, my back. Okay. Let's just stop that straight away, shall we? Oh. Did you sweethearts do? You're great. Everything you want is right here. You better be grateful, man. Arusha's wing. You sound like you're such a jerk about it, Aaron. Look, I just want a little appreciation for having to hold this shit all the way back, okay? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being our pack mule sport. Now give the man his ingredients. Aaron handed over the red cactus and black pole grounds to Morty. Wow, you darlings really did get them from me. Please feel free to inspect everything to make sure it is all in order. Oh, it's fine. You all did great. These are perfect. I couldn't be happier. Thank you all so much. I'm so exhausted after that running around. Look, you still have berry and sand. That's okay. We're just glad we, we did well. Shirayama. There you have. Now that you've done your part, it's my turn to deliver some results so all the blood, sweat and tears were in vain. Now I'll start with a little test run and mix the drink I found to enter right here. Would you be kind enough to taste it for me? Hell yeah. I'll taste as many free drinks as you want to throw at me. Six to be you, small fry. Oh, so what if you're all about to drink? You have to rub it in. There are a couple of people who just went walking in blazing ass heat. You sure don't sound worse or worse, you know. What a miracle. You okay, Bust? And here we are. I call it charm to the nut. <laughs> As I said, I've intended to have a quiet sweet night. Kind you might spend say, trading in dark, dangerous secrets. You right? Good, good, good. Damn, that gradient you pulled off looks killer. The nocturnal sun adorned on top is also a very pleasing touch. It's perfect. Came out just like you said it would. We don't know that for sure yet. Van, I'll not let you have the honor of being the first to taste it. Please, go on. You've ruined it. Oh yeah, I know what you mean, mate. I was the same. I can't say how much for day drinking, but I suppose this counts as part of the job. Well, bottoms up. That is good. Real good. Crisp sweetness, comforting sourness. It's sublime, Ramotti. You can taste the black pomegranate too. And the green texture it adds is a fun touch. Sounds like I have a winner then. That's a relief. But it only turned out so well because of everyone's hard work today. Thank you all again. I can now enter the tournament tonight at my absolute best. Damn right you can. I absolutely mean it when I say that skills like yours, you're going to knock them dead. Fingers crossed. I don't intend to put any punches, that's for sure. I'm in it to win. Okay, great. Your man's had his turn. Now what am I going to get in on the action, huh? I wish I could have some. Uh -huh. I need to be sad. I'm making some for everyone. Of course, the ones for the miners here will be a little less twisty. Yay! It's more like it. Thank you all for the blah, blah, blah. I'm glad you won't have to miss out after all, Perry. What about you, is that? On a sip? I suppose I can accept a drink, given the occasion. Although I would ask that mine be non-alcoholic as well, seeing as I'm on active duty. And then the rest of a short break to enjoy Ramotti's specially prepared drinks. Soon enough, however, they got back to work. Mission accomplished! Great job, you guys! Cock crafting! Fuck. Fuck. Welcome to my adult oasis. Shut Cheers the to fuck Tharman. up.
Oh, she got the little bear with the little heart. She's like, oh, or a cat, whatever it is. Ooh, woo. Um, I think we're all done here. So, wait, is there anything to do this? Nope. Okay, we're, we're ready to go. If we finish our business, we might as well chill and wait for the parade to start. Let's do it. Hello to everyone. Here he is. Today. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Fucking in violence, baby. I'm happy to say that the Carnal Cavalcade is officially ready to kick off. That's what Before I'm saying, begin, but... I have a very important announcement to make. Some of you may have heard rumors going around. Last night, Gaspar Dillon, Wait. CEO of Vegas Films, sadly passed away unexpectedly. I thought that was just to be under wraps. I'm not at liberty to disclose what took place. I'm sure more details will be revealed at a later date. Now, I understand that some people may object to us moving forward with the festival. <laughs> However, Gaspar was a man of his industry. He wanted this event to succeed as much as anyone. That's what... Oh, sorry. Why, we've decided to proceed to fulfill his wish. We hope you all can understand. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. The growth of our film industry owes a lot to the prosperity of our country in recent times. There are some skeptics out there who say once the good times come to an end, we'll become divided all over again. But I'm sure you all know, as well as I do, that when it comes to the silver screen, race, ethnicity, and nationality don't matter a bit. Everyone in the audience is equal and gets to enjoy the greatest experience we can offer. Gaspar Dillon left his dream unfulfilled, and for him, this little show business of ours will reach heights he scarcely dared to hope for. I love you, Giuliani. I can't wait to see that movie. All right, enough rambling from me. It's time for everyone to relax and forget their troubles. Bathe in this sea of beauty that makes even the goddess herself blush. That's right. I'm talking about all these gorgeous girls I have with me who've descended upon Tharban, the city of pleasure. Okay, everyone, all together now. Get ready for the ride of your lives. Here we go! Let, Let the Carl Cavalcade begin! begin. Man, what's that? Wow. This is incredible. Who's that girl on stage? She wasn't on the performer list. That's how for Gossy for you. All he needs is a rage to dazzle you for Selge. Your sister's real into it too. Yeah, she really is. I'm so proud of you, Shakina. We worked hard for this. How are things on your end? Nothing unusual to report, although. Wow, Shakina really does look awesome. Looking to report the points E or F either. Quite the impressive procession, however. It's straddling the line between wholesome and frisky. Should be pretty entertaining if you ask me. Heh. <laughs> anyway, is your little thing with Van going to be there? Yeah, it's only for insurance, but it should suffice for our needs if it comes to it. 
I mean, look things, I should be able to give my father a glowing report. Najee, I think it's time we made our way over to the hotel. Should we find us? It's been ten years. A whole decade since I grafted those disparate branches together. It's time to witness just what sort of fruit that garden will bear now that it has blossomed in full. Oh, aren't you a troublemaker? Goodness me. But I suppose as a relative of sorts, I owe it to the offspring of the heretics to watch over them and see just how they've grown. Offspring? Related. And now, before the main award ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to announce the winners of the Film and Actor Prizes. First, the Tharbad Film Festival's first award for outstanding achievement goes to... Golden Blood, directed by Salvatore Gotti of Vegas Films. Oh, Salvatore, you're right. That was great! Next, the Tharbad Film Festival's first ever, most prestigious Leon Door goes to... Wolves Requiem, directed by Leslie Lam of Kowloon Pictures. Next time, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Be gentle with your revenge when the time comes, yeah? Jesus. Nice one, Gotti! Nice one, Gotti! Moving on to the Actor Awards. The winner for Outstanding Actor is... LaFar Osnavour. For his lead performance in Wolves oh, Requiem. It's the farmer. Meanwhile, the award for Best Actor goes to Albert Granger for his leading role in Perfect Driver 2. Oh. Next, the winner for Outstanding Actress is Judith Lanster for her lead performance in Golden Blood. Judith! And finally, the award for Best Actress goes to... Nina. Nina Fenley, the lead actress of Wolves Requiem. Well, you did it, Nina. Congratulations! You've managed to beat the pants off me. Judith, thank you. I couldn't have done it without such an amazing film. Judith, you I can't believe it's finally happened. Nina Fenley has surpassed Judith Lanster as an actress. Mm, okay, boss. We're seeing history unfold right before our eyes. Magazines are bound to have a field day with this tomorrow. On that note, those of you with invitations are free to proceed to the award reception atop the hotel. Everyone else, there's plenty more excitement left in store. So don't go anywhere. That you will be shocked. Oh, yeah. Now the real fun begins, baby. Oh boy. Time for part two of my carnal cavalcade. Let's bring out some new guys and girls. Got it. Jesus, look at the guys. <laughs> Fucking flapping their wings, man. Alex, there's nobody really hotter up there than you. Hey, is that a super model I see? Whoa, way to up the stakes. And the Scotty Fiend, giving the people exactly what they want and more. I suppose without his preferred star of the parade, he had to up the ante one way or another. Yeah, he might not have won the big award, but with a parade for like some models, he's still more of Come on, Shahina, you got this. That's it, you're doing great, just like that. Fucking Fortnite dancing. So strong now. It's all thanks to you guys. 
Oh, I don't know about that. Let's say she gets it from having such a good sister. It's really impressive. She doesn't look tired from the first time to parade at all. She keeps this up and positive she'll last through the whole thing just fine. I must say, I was real shocked to see Golden Blood pull runner up instead of the shiny lion. Still haven't seen Wolf's Requiem. Is it really as good as they say it is? Oh yeah, it's an absolute masterpiece in its own right. The only other film this year that can hold a can to it is Golden Blood. It's a real timely film, you might say. Wouldn't surprise me if that was what ultimately put it on top. Plus, if nothing else, it's a good sign the voting process is genuinely fair, despite this being a Vegas film's event and all that. I want to go see it at some point now, too. I'm really curious to see how Nina is in it. Yeah, you can go see it if you want. I'm more interested in what... in that uncut version of Golden Blood everyone keeps hyping up. In your dreams, kid. I don't think you're ready for it. Yeah, I uh, have to agree with Aaron on this one. Maybe once you're a bit older. Boo. So unfair. I'm plenty mature for my age, you know. Uh, I'm not quite sure you're R17 mature, though, Fairy. Huh? That's a different color. Is that? Hey, what's going on? What's wrong, Shahina? Are you okay? Uh, are you feeling tired? I can take over if you... Tell me, you're not satisfied just being some substitute for your sister, are you? You are better than that. You want to shine yet brighter, don't you? To prove that you deserve the spotlight from the start. Then shine. Shine golden as the sun, and consume everything around you with your brilliant rays. Oh boy. I... need to shine. Shine for Sara. Brighter than her. More. More. I have to shine more! What the? Oh. Everyone should shine together. Huh? What's wrong, you guys? <laughs> uh. I feel like I've jumped straight into the screen. What do you mean? Dude, you are you okay? Shut up! Don't get in our way! <laughs> What's all this commotion? Hell. Everyone, get ready to suppress- Damn! Not you all too? Don't tell me you're trying to crash the party, sir. That's not very funny. Yeah, Inspector. Come on, enjoy it. Enjoy yourself with the rest of us. This ain't good. Shahina! Is that mask? Shit! Guys, look over there! Moments before. Why is the crowd acting like this? No! They're ruining my precious cavalcade! <sighs> Looks like the worst case scenario we projected has come to pass. Najee, get in touch with the Horvata. Get them to provide support to our ground forces. Yes, your highness. As you wi- You might want to come up with a plan B. We've already got things sorted out there. You two must be with Almada. I take it you're the ones behind President Dillon's untimely passing. I think I see what's going on. That device is what's presumably made everyone out there go into a frenzy. Smart man. You must be aware of what happened in Cray and Longport. But enough talk. Let's liven things up some more, shall we? After all, we owe it to ourselves, as fellow sponsors, to enjoy this. That we do. With this, 
All of the pieces are now in place. I hope you don't mind keeping us company until the show's grand finale, Your Highness. Your Highness! Nanjay! Do you copy? Damn! I can't get through! I've got no choice. I'll have to land this thing in the Oasis. This can't be real. How is this happening? It's probably safe to assume the cause of all this is in there. If I had to guess, that angel we had a run-in with delivered its prize straight to Almada's clutches. Yes. I don't see how it could be anything else. This has to be the work of the fourth Genesis. Yet its effects don't appear to be wholly indiscriminate. The people being controlled must have some sort of shared connection between them. Wait! They're just like those other tourists! That must mean... Right. Those tainted horrible hookahs are the other piece of the puzzle. I don't understand. That doesn't explain why my sister is being affected. She's different. That mask she's wearing is what's giving her grief. Her dancing is amplifying the strength of the interference, driving these people to act so crazy. The question is when she would have gotten that mask from the culprit. Actually, wait. I think I know. It was probably sometime last night. I knew I should have stuck with her. Please tell me you're joking. There's more. What's going on here bears an awful resemblance to what took place a year and a half ago. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Somehow it looks like they've managed to recreate that effect out here in Calvert. What do you mean, that? It couldn't possibly be. Hey, uh, do you know what they're talking about? Yeah, I heard about it from So referring to when that famous dancer was mind-controlled during that takeover in Crossbell. Boisel, you were in the area when all that was going down, weren't you? Got any ideas on how to break the spell based on that experience? Hmm, I didn't think you'd be so clued in on what happened. That whole crisis was stopped thanks to a bunch of people coming together in the right places at the right times. But, as far as the dancer you're talking about goes, it was a fellow dancer that ultimately did the- Shit, sorry. She... brought her back from the depths of darkness, and sent that phoenix flying high once more, so to speak. I think we can work with that. What do you think, Sara? I'll do it. Whatever chance there is of bringing Shahina back to normal, I have to take it. Longer. <laughs> well, if it isn't Sara, couldn't resist getting a front row seat to watch me, huh? Shahina, I'm so sorry. I know I haven't been the best older sister in the world. Hey, what are you talking about? You should watch. Yeah, watch me, sis. I'm gonna shine even brighter. So bright, I'll turn into a golden sun. I'll dance for as long as it takes. You won't have to suffer any longer. <laughs> Miss Sara, take this. It's a spare Zypha. I set it to activate a spirit jammer. Hopefully it helps you reach her. If anyone's dancing can get through to Shahina, it's yours, Sara. You can do it. Yes, Sara. We're gonna take bitch. care of the source. Sylphie, you be sure to back her up. What you're doing right now isn't the dancing that was passed down to us. I'm going to dance some sense into you. As your only sister, I'll show you how it's really done. <laughs> Fine. See if I care. I'll just swallow you up too if that's what it takes. I have to keep shining brighter. I won't stop! Thank 
Barrier synchronization via Genesis, over 70%. Ban! Now! It's open! Let's get in! <sighs> that was too damn close. You really pushed our luck by brute forcing it, you know. Come on, don't give me crap. We made it through, didn't we? What the heck is this? Hey, you all right in there? Yeah, just peachy. We're gonna go bash some heads and put a stop to this. You guys take care of that parade float. Make sure to contact the CID's Edith branch and the guild while you're at it. All right, leave it to us. No, you don't have to crack the whip so hard on your own friends, do you? But I'll give you a pass, sweetheart. We'll take care of it. My head is completely spinning at this point. But you can be sure I'll be recording everything. The world needs to know about this! Shut up, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what I call a show. What a fine way to recreate what happened in Crossbell. That mask must originally come from the workshop. If that's the case, well... We made use of their emperor back in the day, so I guess turnabout's fair play. <laughs> My, I haven't witnessed such an amusing little spectacle since the serpent ensnared us. They were Boros then. That certainly brings back memories. I wonder how she's doing. The serpent. Today. I'm really struggling to. I'm not quite sure who they're talking about. I'm sure, we'll find out. Harumph, sir. I must ask you if you have a reservation with us. If you don't, I'm afraid we must actually leave. Oh, great. Paramus are heads first thing. Just what we needed. We've got no choice. We'll have to take him down. It's over. Don't remember asking. Good luck! Oh, no. Mary. <laughs> A chance! Huh? <laughs> Dutch bitch. <laughs> Doesn't strength definitely feels amplified indeed, and far more than what we witnessed from his tourists under the influence yesterday. We'll just have to take him down as we find him, as rough as it'll be. And it's how the things up with the Genesis. Judging from the reaction, I'd say we need to head up toward the wood reception at the top of the hotel. Nina, Judith, Director Gotti, and the Prince should all be there as well. And they got that scary ass bodyguard with them, plus that cat girl. I'm sure they'll be just fine in the meantime. There should be an elevator we can take straight up. It's up and board. Come on, as if they're just gonna let us take the elevator. It'd be silly. This is a very zoomed in. Here we go. They locked down our ride. Now what do we do? 
Maximum security appears to be enabled. It will take some time in order to crack it. What about this other elevator? It gets up to the fifth floor at least. We'll take it. Don't have time to waste. Right. We've got to get up there somewhere or another. Ding dong. That hits the spot. That's as far as the elevator will take us. How are we going to go from here? Wait for them to stop chatting. I believe our only option is to use the staircase. That looks like a nice chest. There. There. Let's get to work. It should be safe for now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get to work. Ow. Stay away. I'm gonna try and fight you. Just please don't come any closer. I'm gonna find some of a service for our guests. It's no use, we can't get through to them. Someone help! Stop right there. I'm gonna let you lay a finger on them. Who are? Either prize recipient, Sochim? Please leave this to us. This ain't gonna be a fight scene in a movie. Stay back if you don't wanna get hurt. Deploying shot! It's over. It's over. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. <laughs> no way. He's been copy and pasted. Bring it on. Here we go. A chance. Ah, now you don't. It's go time. Got 
Everyone unharmed? Yes, we're fine, thank you. We're in your debt, but just who are you? I'm just gonna have to wait, I'm afraid. I'd love to hear all about your award winner too, but we ain't got the time. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But I can tell you're strong, so I do have one fear I'd like to ask. Help Judith, please. Judith? What happened to her? She volunteered to act as a decoy while we were still upstairs to help us escape. Gotti and Nina weren't able to get away, but she brought the rest of us the chance to flee. Oh no. Gotcha, consider it done. You guys just hold up somewhere safe until this is all over. Alright, we'll try. Please, save Judith and the others. Team escorted the director along with the actors and actresses to a safe place. Hope Judith and the others are alright. I don't know about the others, but I have a feeling Judith is fine. Me too. Yeah, she's in, da in danger of a different sort of that. Hmm? What do you mean? Regardless, we should hurry. Our objective hasn't changed. Yeah, you're right. Let's move. Oh, poor Anis. No idea what was going on. Huh? Looks like a chest. Figures. Mm. Ah. Let me go! Oh, wait! I know you, Miss Grimcat. Sorry, we interrupted you, fun. Why is my heart beating so fast all of a sudden? Do I look like I'm having fun? Now hurry up and give me a hand. Yes, we got no choice. U.S. one now, or two if we count the night before last. Shut up. Just make with the punching and knock him out. It's over. A chance. Mm. I'll get them all. Allow all the stops. Activating drive. I need help. Ready for this? You're tough. <laughs> Sorry for that! Pressure him and move in! I'll crush him all at once! Then if I want to save my CP or not. I'll crush him all at once! Going all in! I'll crush them all at once! <laughs> Payback time! You won't get away with this! Pressure them and move in! I'll round them up and scatter them! Get them fast, Barry! Target locked! You're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay for that. 
Got a whole slew of them. Now oh yeah, they did. Zork after her. Like how you are. Payback time. I won't lose. Payback time. Zoyfa like activate. Zoyfa like activate. Alright, do we have an impede? I'll round them up and scatter them. Something's trying to attack. No shit! I'll round them up and scatter them. Please, give me power. <laughs> You're finished. Take me. Not easy knocking people out without really hurting them. What took you guys so long anyway? You understand we didn't come to save you in the first place, right? She is one of the people we're here to help though, technically. Uh you're right. I just say Well, uh, I I have no idea what you're talking about. Why does it seem familiar somehow? I see now. Either way, you still owe us. So you can pay us back for the little friendly info swapping. So the Orbital Hoopers were what made all of that possible. Those scumbags have sent everyone who's ever, ever smoked one into a frenzy. Sounds like I'll not have people in the hotel after all. And sure enough, they brought the device we're looking for along with them. Judging by the colour, it's likely the one that Angelic Doll carried off. It must have been delivered to them after the fact. That girl did say something about how she and that doll had already paid their part. Hmm. We met Melchior before, but who could the man in the coat be? That's a good freaking question. Never seen him before either. The Prince and Najee bought most of us time to escape by fighting against them, but I ended up getting separated from everyone. I think you know Mr. Gotti is still there, though. Oh dear, we should... Hmm. Wait, is that all for me familiar with? Alright, now it's my turn to start making demands. Access to the staircase is locked, and only this key card can unlock it. Oh, if you want to progress any farther, you'll have to lend me a hand. Secured that card in advance, huh? You're living up to your name as the Burglar Queen. <gasps> I am a phantom thief, not a burglar! And my work is only just starting! They might think they've stolen this festival and its participants from us, but I'm gonna steal them right back! But even I can't handle a job like this alone, so I'm gonna give you the honor of helping me. You better not have any problems with that. No way, we really appreciate the help. Odds are very much stacked against us. We welcome any aid you have to offer. Even if it is from Puss and Spandex. Burgers can't be choosers, I guess. Uh, Puss in what? Oh, whatever. It's a deal then. Let's get moving. We need to make it to the top floor, where the awards were going to be presented. Right. Oh, well, she's got the looks. It's just a shame about everything else. Uh, no, I suppose it can wait until all this is over. Judith. Wow. <laughs> Fucking... What a game. Can I steal her stuff? Oh, I can't even access it. Okay. Oh, there it was, right at the bottom. Guest. Yeah, I can't even do anything. Okay, fair. I do want to know what you were doing with those clowns, but I won't press you. For now. For now? How about never, you invasive jerk? Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea who Grim Cat is now. As do I, but I think it would be best if we play along and pretend we are not in the know. Ruby room. Okay. 
Hello, boys. Ow, ow. On this floor. Grab that real quick. Like nice MP2. Quite close. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Oh, I can't deploy shots, can you? I guess we'll just get him this way. It should be safe for now. Uh, uh. Don't need the MP2. No. That's good. I know you're staring. Quit it. You didn't want me staring. Why'd you get on the ladder first? Go on. I... um... Shut up! <laughs> Dialogue.
Zodiac, so... Right, up we go. Okay, we've made it to the observation lounge. Wait, can I just finish talking? The elevator here will take us to the 20th floor. Hallelujah. Although, I get the feeling I'm going to need to heal. Oh. Never mind. Boys, what the hood is? Oh, my goons. Who are you? They must be the intruders we were warned about. We want to avoid a world of pain. Out of our way. Or out of that, they're open to discussion. Yeah, don't hold back against them. Take it down. Right, got it. Let's run. Let's rumble. I didn't say I didn't warn you. That was amazing. It looked like you were doing wire stunts. Pull this moves out while you're filming too. I'm filming? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Everyone, let me redirect your attention. It's a key card. Could that will be what we're looking for? Yeah, I imagine it's the one you need to go to the top floor. Perfect. As soon as we're ready, let's head on up there. Yeah, because movies. Go. This looks like a stopping point. Ooh. That hits the spot. Uh. I 
I don't think there's anything I can even do really. Alrighty. Killed, so let's see. Let's fuck this guy up! <laughs> Look! Wow! They're both deeply captivating. <laughs> Sorry, sold her own pretty well. Oh, absolutely. It's quite an achievement to be able to keep up with one enhanced to superhuman levels by that mask. Hello, mate. It's because she's Shahina's sister. Cue the psycho. <sighs> you came. Our saviors. <laughs> are we glad to see you? Nina, Mr. Gotti. It looks like neither of them are hurt. Thank Adios. Uh -huh. Crimcat! What's that spicy cougar doing here? I, I'm too young to be a cougar, thank you. What are you doing here, though? Ah, um, well, I was asked by an actress to come and help, you see. So you're the phantom thief people are talking about. Come to steal our treasure, I take it? I didn't realize you were working hand in hand, or rather, paw in hand, with the Spriggan. We're not friends or anything. Just united in wanting to smash your face in. Not just for what you did to Ida, but for all the hurt you caused Shahina and so many others in Tharbad too. Could we perhaps tone the noise down? This show is almost at its climax. It would be a shame to miss it over a bout of petty sniping. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, boss. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me? No way. My name is Gerard Dantes, the head of Almada. So you are the Spriggan. Somehow, this doesn't quite feel like our first encounter. Would you care to join us in watching the show? It seems oh. perhaps that this was fated to be. Huh. We plan to see this to the end. But hell if we're gonna do it with you. That'd just rain all over the hard work these kids have put in. <laughs> A pity. Almada's leader. An SS level threat. Fate notwithstanding, you are correct. This isn't even our first time meeting in this city. What? <gasps> You don't mean... Oh, shit! He was that guy in the casino? There I was, thinking Almada had no presence here in this city, when their leader was hiding in plain sight the whole damn time. Well, it's simply a matter of efficiency. I believe in taking a hands-on approach to my work. Whether it is disposing of pawns and abandoning positions, or giving tools and products a first-hand trial. Son of a bitch. Now I get it. There's a lot going on here, but your main goal here was some kind of experiment. To see just what you could pull off by combining those drugs with that device. What? That does fit with what they were trying to do in Cray and Longport, too. So this chaos right now isn't a means to an end. It's an end in itself. Correct. Whether it was securing new distribution routes, or testing our ability to use this heirloom to instigate an uprising of sorts, the data we've obtained from this promises to be quite valuable in what is to come. The mask cannot be reused, alas. But I believe this to be a satisfactory application. Good work, Melchior. Thanks, boss. That pretty thing latches on to the darkness and vulnerability in people's hearts, making puppets out of them. I'm glad I was able to steal a spare during the chaos in Crossbell a year and a half ago. They're total monsters. Yes. We may need to increase their threat level to SS+. Huh. That was one of the many crises she was involved in. We will not allow this madness to go on a moment longer. We're taking that Genesis back from you. Whatever it takes. 
Oh, well, you can have it. These devices were designed to eventually come into the hands of their rightful owners regardless. That is their nature. Who times two? <laughs> Sounds like you have a lot of info you could share with us. Perhaps. Yet only a fraction of all there is to know. Now that we have seen the fruits of our labor, our work here is done. Withdrawing would be a valid option. However... What? Prince Jareed? And Najee, too! I thought the two of you had escaped! <laughs> I'm... <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. D don't tell me. You've had some of that drug, too? <laughs> yep. All it took was a few little droplets in their welcome drink. Here is the final amusement of the festival. I do hope you can keep me at least as entertained as those dancers did. Yeah, that'd be easy. These guys are pussies. <laughs> Cat girls and gentlemen. In one corner, we have none other than a crown prince of the desert and his ever so loyal servants. And in the other, we have the simple Spriggan of Edith. Just who between them will emerge victorious? Huh? Those golden auras are bad news. I'm really in it now. This tension. It's incomparable to that of our fight in the cave. Take care! Well, what are you gonna do? We're gonna neutralize them. We ain't got any other options. They're sponsors to the festival. We need to make them see sense. Right. Sara and Shahina are depending on us, too. Give me your worst. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> Activating skill. Keep it going. Hmm. Time to go all out. Pressure him and move it. Make it count, Baron. <laughs> Your turn, Miss Perfect. Uh, no, you don't. Pussy man. My move now. Cipher activate. Get the bus gun. Who's got an impede? Who's got an impede? Does somebody have an impede? Oh dear. Something's coming. Get oh wait, wait, I need to do this. Who? There. Quick. Oh, damn. No. Watch out, you guys. This will hurt. Now you will force me. Dice you up. A chance. Someone's got a party. thing that does a thing. I don't know who has the thing. Ah, it's this guy. Payback 
Activating skill. You're not getting away. Keep it going. I could really use power now. Gotcha. All you on yet. Uh oh. Thank you. Like how you are. <laughs> Payback time. It's go time. Uh, gotcha. I owe you. Here goes. I don't know if Van will be able to hit them both, but... Now you will fart. No, you only hit one on 32. Time for the main event! Zero delay. They got a fucking nasty combo going on. Eat this sucker. Something's coming. Fuck. Light and shine, small fry. Oh, we're all fucking paralyzed. Something's coming! Get ready! Watch it! They're trying to attack! Please! Let's ready to see that! Oh damn, okay. <laughs> I hope you're ready! Get her ass crafted. Here's the climax! Grim Knight Wong! Boost gauge limit increased. I don't remember asking. This'll hurt. This'll hurt. Show me what you got. Aerial Buster! No target. Sick. Show me what you got. Please. Like hell you are! <laughs> Payback time! A chance! Just hit her once. There we go. Oh wait, she's still alive. Wait, she's still alive, she's still alive, she's still alive. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Ooh, nice.
Well fought. <laughs> that it was. You're back to normal. We did it. On the contrary, we've hardly started. This device can do far, far more. For it is capable of stimulating the emotion that lies at the root of all others. Here. Now. Why don't you show me yours? <laughs> Najee! My... my mana is... You gotta be shitting me. It's like what I went through. What in the... It really is what happens to Ida and Eren. Legendary... Veradrogna! A being from a higher plane? Looks like you managed to reel in a big one, boss. Everyone, you need to run! Watch. This time we'll protect you. Guys. Time to finally put our work to the test. You're up, concierge. Huh? <clears throat> Understood. Emergency vital support is functioning properly. Pseudo Aeon resonance control successfully enabled. Hollow core overclocking capabilities restricted. Wait, what are you doing? Who's interfering with me? No time for questions. Do it! You and that maid set me up, didn't you? Oh, whatever. The Grendel's all yours! Blue flames? Whoa, Nelly! Now that's what I call badass! <laughs> and there it is! So he clads himself in a beast of dark blue. Isn't that something? <laughs> now, this is unexpected. Dan, he's fine. His essence is stable. Did you butt your way in when he was just about to go berserk? Yes, as per Mr. Arkride's request. Mortal Raid Mortal Fire Celeste What we got? Mortal Raid All res down So let's go Or as let's party. Now, activating skill. I need help. Grab it all. Perfect chance. Pressure him and move it. Flames. Flames. 
water and fire. Huh? Got neither of them. Let's party. So I guess we'll just do some buffing. That's a lot of health it just restored. It's go time. <laughs> Oh, I just... Well, I oh, well. Run, 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 run. You won't get away with this! Please. Well, what are you gonna do? Keep it up, it's working. Zypha activated. Here goes. Take them out. Blaze. Activating yeah. skill. Not so fast. Don't remember asking. Golden Beast King, who serves Arusha. That bodyguard's really something else to be able to fuse with a monster like that. Van! Splendidly fought. <sighs> you did it. Look at you go! Kudos to both sides. Until now, I wasn't quite sure just how you transformed. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Rather shrewd of you. Very shrewd. I'm impressed you caught me off guard. <sighs> it's time.
time you call it quits, we're shutting the show down. Alas, it seems you are right. Oh, the golden light is gone. Huh. She did it, huh? Who did it? Big who moment. what we both started and show everyone who supported us just how bright our future is all right Sora. who Together. You can do it, girl! Go for it! Is everybody watching out there? Let's make this a film festival for the record books! Come on, everyone! What a ride this has been. I just hope this means things have worked out. Not to burst your bubble, hun, but with the CID in town, I don't know how much anyone is going to be able to cover this event. Maybe. But I've got a feeling readers will still get a little taste of just how hot and fiery things turned out. I imagine the readers will say, who asked? So that's what it means to perform live. Really puts into perspective what she accomplished in Crossbell. What'd you say? Just thinking out... Ah! Why are you kneeling so close to me? Sorry, but your injuries need tending to. Oh, Over already? That was a little anticlimactic, if you ask me. What should we do, boss? <laughs> I think we're fine. These results were more than enough for our purposes. I'm sure our Spriggan friend will agree. <laughs> Wipe that cocky grin off your ugly mug. We won't let you escape. Escape? Whatever gave you that idea? Watch out, everyone! Incoming! This guy's a legend. Taking this a little far, don't you think? Oh, I didn't realize you were there, Melchior. I'm ever so sorry. No need to apologize. You know me, Viola. I always love a good thrill. You have a bad habit of gratuitously pushing people's buttons, Melchior. She does share some of the blame, you realize. In either case, they are merely engaging in their usual repartee. The hell I am! It's you, bastards. Look! That puppeteer is with them, too! Stay right there! <clears throat> Ciao! Thanks for keeping me entertained. Will it or nil it, we seem bound by fate. I'm sure we'll meet again. 
Not so fast. Tell me one thing. Just how far do you plan on taking this madness? Come now, Spriggan. You know the answer as well as I do. There are no limits to the lengths we will go. That stealth cruiser is cutting-edge tech. These guys are better equipped than I thought. So it seems. That specific ship isn't even on the market yet. Oh, crap. Well, I better get going. I'll let you guys take it from here. So long! Wait! Your wounds, eh? And there she goes. She could have at least said a proper goodbye. <laughs> Nina! Are you alright? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Judith! There you are! I've been so worried about you ever since we got separated. And... Oh no, you look so exhausted. Did something happen? <sighs> I'm fine! <sighs> really? I've just been running around this whole time. That's a- oh, Judith, did you see her? Grimcat was here in the flesh, baby! If she's not a scintillating spectacle, I don't know who is! That woman is the living embodiment of one of my 108 ideal forms! Ah, oh, I've gotta do something! I need to get to work on my next movie! One that'll put that damn lom in his place! <laughs> Already have your eyes on the next prize, Mr. Gotti? Eh, we could all learn a little from his determination. Though, maybe not the part that's waist deep in the gutters. <laughs> Meanwhile? We recovered another Genesis. But at what cost? Great-grandfather, mom, grandmother, Huh. I'd say this whole mess has given us a lot of food for thought. But our clients are safe and sound. Well, mostly. And I don't think we could have wrapped things up much better than we did. I can see us getting a juicy bonus for our work, too. So, good job, guys. You all get a passing grade. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm not sure where you get off thinking you, of all people, can grade us. I suppose that now all of this is over. This concludes my current assignment. A job well done, Mr. Arkride. Everyone? Right back at you, Reset. I really don't know what we would have done without you. You've been so attentive and supportive. Not to mention the way you saved Van when he was in danger. Yeah, you've been super helpful to have around. You ever think about trading places with our boss? Work go way smoother with you running the show. I'm right here! Though, I'd, uh, be lying if I said I hadn't had the same thought. It was my pleasure. I had a wonderful time working with all of you. See, she didn't answer the question because, like every other character, she's just going to turn up at the office. so carefree after all the shit that went down. Please Especially Director Deviant. Takes a weird pair of balls to only think about how to make a movie out of it. <laughs> He's resilient, all right. The kind of man who always finds something on the floor every time he's knocked down. The news isn't saying much about the drugs or organized crime, though. Not that I'm especially surprised about that. Yeah, that'd just put people on edge. Guessing it's probably Renee's people and the Principality hushing things up. 
I was worried the Prince and Mache would be out for a while, so it's good they recovered right away. Zara and Shahina were able to pay off their debts, too. Yeah, doubt those loan sharks were expecting to get it all back in one go. Thank you for everything. If it weren't for you all, who knows where I'd be right now. Arusha must be really looking out for me. Hey, come on. Don't sell yourself too short, yeah? You did all the hard work. We just offered a little moral support. That's all. But still, I wish we had more time to hang out. One of these days, you'll have to teach me some of your moves, okay? Sure! Sounds like a plan. I promise to pay you back for everything you've done. See you guys later! They were both such lovely people. I'm so glad we got to meet them. It sounds like the future is looking bright for them, too. If they have such a big show confirmed already. Yeah, not everyone gets to collaborate with a group like Crossbell's Arkansas right out the door. Oh, sure. They've got to be feeling some pressure, jumping into the big league so quickly. But they're up for it, I'm sure. <laughs> You've always had a ton of suspicious criminal contacts. But now you're drowning in public superstars, too. Top actresses, big league directors, promising dancers. Bet you must be feeling like you've struck gold. What with all these famous chicks all over you lately? Uh, what do you mean? Well, Van? <sighs> Why do you always gotta go right for my jugular? I was fine with this staying a quiet one-man operation, you know? Now all of a sudden I've got a load of employees, and both the CID and Elsheim Royals have their eyes on me. What a pain. I think you're mostly to blame for that, though. Mostly? It's all his fault. I thought you made a positive impression on the prince, though. He seemed to really like you. I have no excuse for my earlier lapse. Words cannot express how grateful I am you were able to contain the situation for me. That was quite the ride we ended up on, indeed. But, all things considered, this has been a fruitful experience, in several ways. As promised, I threw in a bonus on top of your base reward, so you have something extra to look forward to. It will arrive separately. <laughs> Appreciate it, your highness. I'll be on the lookout for it. All that being said, uh, this has certainly been a colorful little adventure, hasn't it? And I don't just mean with Almada and the Genesis. You're an intriguing fellow yourself, Van. Mm -hmm. I understand <laughs> what Marduk sees in Arkride Solutions now. You can most certainly count on my continued support. You tell him that. Yeah, I wouldn't call that liking. He was putting me on his radar. Granted, if he wants to give me some fat bonuses, who am I to say no? <laughs> It's definitely over 70% his fault. 70? Try 120. Still, nothing good comes from biting off more than you can chew. Better to keep this operation focused. Besides, why do you have to bring Marduk's name up? They've got nothing to do with us now. Reset helping out was just a one-time thing. Now I'm back to being just a regular old tester. Uh? Uh, what's with all the confusion? Um, well... Yo, Agnes. You keeping stuff from him again? I didn't mean to. I really only intended that with you. Excuse me. Huh. Guess we got another client. I'll be right there. <laughs> Funny. I must be seeing things. <laughs> Hello there. It's good to see you all again. Even if it's been less than a week since we last met. Amazing. Talk about a stickler for time. Not even a minute late. I trust you didn't get lost on the way here? Not at all. I've known where Mr. Arkwright lives for quite some time. I look forward to working with you all. What? Now just one damn minute. What's this all- After the events of the other day, Marduk HQ undertook a thorough investigation and risk assessment of the situation. The possibility was raised that, on this exceptional occasion, the continued presence of an on-site concierge may be warranted. As a result, my subsequent internal application to be assigned directly to Arkwright Solutions long-term was granted. And so, here I am. Uh, uh... 
Um, it sounds like she'll be able to help out with a lot, including Mare, while keeping the details secret from Marduk HQ. Plus, she can teach us more about shards and do a whole bunch of other useful stuff for us. Yeah, there was something about having us try out some cutting-edge Orbal Net service, too. That's right. I would greatly benefit from the wider pool of testers, rather than just Mr. Arkwright alone. Of course, I will take care to ensure the terms of your contracts are fair and beneficial to you all. I don't think any of us are worried on that count, as long as you're involved. Uh... <laughs> oh, and I have of course already signed a lease for one of the rooms on the third floor and deposited my belongings there. I believe you are behind on temporary employment tax paperwork and insurance applications for everyone here. I would be happy to help with those matters and more besides. So please, let me know if I can be of service. Oh, we couldn't possibly leave everything to you. I'll do all I can to handle my fair share, too. Ooh, but first, you should give me a crash course in how to use those shard footholds. Yeah! Can you people stop making decisions without me? <laughs> More girls. That's how it goes. Then I'll update your rank. I'll gladly take that. Macho belt. <laughs> That's just about perfect. See? You get it. Whether you need assistance in office or personal matters, know that there is nothing <coughs> I, Reset Twinings, cannot handle. Personal matters, you say? You've had more than enough time. Why are the calculations still not done? B but, but, Professor, it's impossible to be any more precise with our current equipment. Not even the most cutting-edge engineering science or orbital science will allow for... I will not be told what is or isn't possible by assistance! We know about an inevitable lack of precision going into this! Oppressive man. The theory is complete. Now do your job and find a way to realize it! It's as simple as that! You are working in the finest laboratory in all of Calvert, and it is high time that you started thinking like it! <sighs> Whatever. I'll be back to hear your results in the morning. Just get to making progress! Huh, <sighs> not another all-nighter. I didn't think losing to Professor Cronkite would push him this far off the deep end. Oh, it's Fee again. I don't disagree, but complaining isn't gonna get us anywhere. All we can do is get back to work. Who? This wasn't what we agreed. You both gave me your word that you would stay on until the Zypha standard was ready for the general population. Oh, sorry. But my main research really needs my attention right now. I've covered all the tasks I was specifically left with, though. <laughs> that looks a lot like Kia. As have I. Now it's time I devoted myself to that other project. Unless you would be willing to take responsibility were a problem to arise due to my lack of attention? <gasps> you know I can't do that. Then it seems we've nothing else to discuss. I really am sorry about this. Oh! I need to keep making improvements to that other thing I was given, too. The 
<sighs> Why must the professor's students all be like this? Not to mention the woman herself. If she hadn't just up and left Basel in the first place, this wouldn't be an issue. Meanwhile, Professor Callahan's obsessed with his research into Adios knows what. What? Etwas and Red Star are threatening patent litigation? Then have their legal representative take care of it. Aldra and ZCF have a partnership now? Is this through that tech union? What are the details? Project AF's been leaked, but we had an agreement with Tyrell. It's already time for those educational visitations. Ugh. I don't have the time for this. <sighs> Why can't problems ever come one at a time? I can't deal with all of this. Wait a second. I may have just worked out the perfect card to play. She left another student back here, didn't she? As I recall, he's become obsessed with that old facility. I knew it. This is the best time of the day to see the Great Shadar Triangle. I just wish there was a little less cloud cover. By the looks of it, their conjunction will be about ten months from now, so that should do it for my homework. I just hope she'll be back before then. Who will be back? Oh, uh, don't mind me. It's nothing. They said, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. How could I not be when I've got the two of you? And I'm not a child anymore. I can keep things safe in Grand's absence. Adiosaba. You're too young to always be so serious. Hey there. How's it going so far? I assume you mean with the new lens? I couldn't try it out fast enough. It's accurate to 0 .03 micro arch. The engineers of the artisanal district really are second to none. <laughs> Wasn't gonna settle for less than perfect on one of the professor's homework assignments. But I was really asking about you. You sure you're not working yourself too hard lately? I'm fine. Honestly, I am. But thank you for always caring about me. It means a lot. Especially since I'm sure you already have your hands full with work from above as it is. Oh, I won't hear a word of that. You just leave worrying about that kind of stuff to me. Everyone's got their role to play in the world, whether it's as a researcher or as an engineer. And we wouldn't be fit to call ourselves artisans of Basel if we weren't willing to come help the professor's favorite student. Well, uh, thank you very much then. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Towsend? What could the CEO want with someone like me? What? Hold on a second. What do you... But th this is the professor's... I'm on my way. Ugh. What nasty crap is Towsend up to this time? Our first fanboy. Oh, well, twink fanboy, I guess. Fuck me. Thank you, Sophia, sub. Jesus Christ. Roughly 100 years ago, the Calvardian monarchy was approaching breaking point. Outside of Calvert, the vast empire in East Emiria had fallen, and the empire had annexed Crossbell for the umpteenth time. Meanwhile, at home, citizens were starving, and the aristocracy ruled with an iron fist, ignoring the people's suffering. 
This led to a group of unlikely heroes standing up to fight against injustice, led by Sheena Dirk, a firebrand student. At the time, few were willing to lend an ear to the pe seeming pipe dream of democratic revolution that she spoke of, but in, true in due course it began to resonate with the young in particular, and before long she found herself leading a popular movement. The elites of the time were hard to keep her movement at bay, uh, causing many to lose their lives, and for Sheena herself to be locked away. But they could not stop the movement from becoming a revolutionary army with Dirk as its symbol. It was this army that toppled the kingdom. Even then, she still had the betrayal of her friend, August the Philosopher, and the invasion of the Empire's provincial armies to contend with. But in the end, Sheena Dirk went on to become Calvert's first president and achieved a great many things during her time of power. Let's call it out. Could you give us an example of Of course! Time? Her most well-known achievements are the Calvardian Constitution, which guides us to this day, and Edith's designation as our capital. However, I think that the founding of this very academy also deserves a special mention. The opinions of a great many thinkers, including her comrade, the artist Aramis, were reflected in its creation. Did anyone ask? But even the Royal Academy in neighboring Liberal, and a military academy in Arabonia, our enemies at the time, served as inspirations. Aramis was founded to be a place where people of all races, nationalities, and beliefs could come together for the benefit of all. And I believe that as a result, it is a perfect embodiment of the ideals upon which our Republic was established. Quite so. Among her accomplishments, that one is especially pivotal. Aramis became the first head of this academy, and the influence his works had on the field art cannot be... Boy, Aramis is so smart. She's so pretty, too. Talk about stiff competition, huh? Shush! Pay attention to the lesson! Bro, she's got no interest in you whatsoever. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, next week marks the beginning of your educational visitations. However, there are still a few of you who haven't chosen where they want to go. Much like the school festival in April, this is a test of what you can do independently. You'll need to book your own lodgings as well, so I expect these last few submissions for the start of next week. That will be all. You would, class representative? Yes, sir. Stand. Bow. I know it's out of the country, but Cross was a top contender for sure. Yeah, I'm dying to see how I can see her in person. I'm interested in Crosswell too, but I want to visit somewhere quintessentially Calvardian this time. Aurasia looks pretty. I can't wait. Mongport or Musseldon wouldn't be bad choices either. I want to go see the ocean. I'm quite interested in Thorbad too, especially after that film festival they just held. There we go, the guys were like, Hur, hur, that's free. So, what's eating away at you? Uh, what do you mean? We're talking about where you want to visit, of course. Admittedly, the whole thing isn't a compulsory part of our curriculum, so any first or second year can choose not to go. But you're not seriously considering passing it up, are you? Uh -huh. was not that easy to read? Well, you both already know about my circumstances, and I suppose they're not worth hiding to begin with, but... I still don't know whether my job will need us to go anywhere, so I'm waiting until the last minute to decide. I knew it. <sighs> you do seem to take a lot of business trips with that gig, huh? They got another new face recently though, right? That concierge maid woman? Oh, or are you concerned she's going to get a lead on you? She is supposed to be really pretty. That's not the issue here. Grr. <laughs> Sounds like someone's having fun in here. Oh, Ren. Oh, good afternoon. The same to you. I'll be doing a bit of visitationing myself, incidentally, since I enrolled this year. If we end up going to the same place, I'll do what I can to help with your lodgings. By the way, I think it's fine to leave your decision until the last minute if you're that concerned about your work-school balance. Oh, you're teasing me again, aren't you? Still, I appreciate you saying so. Well, either way, I'd rather stick with you, Agnes. That's why you haven't picked either, right, Albert? Uh, I just don't want to rush into a decision. Where are you planning on going anyway? Crossbell likes so many of us? Actually, I know a few too many people there for that to be a good choice. I visited Longport and Arasian plenty too, 
I, she's gonna go to the world. Is enticing with the festival over. I really wonder about her sometimes. She's just one big mystery. No, I've made my mind up to go somewhere else entirely. Liberal. A city that's like no other for experiencing both Calvert's history oh. and its innovation, filled with wisdom and technology. A place where you can see the future of the Zypha Standard, the Orbal Network, and so much more. Oh, you mean? Next chance I get to save, I'm going to end stream, FYI. I read your report. I'm pleased to see everything seems to be going swimmingly. I foresee no major issues in you conducting your support and operational work from Edith. As such, I will leave all but emergency matters to your discretion while you're with Arkride Solutions. Thank you very much. I will continue to report all I can regarding the Almada matter, too, aside from the agreed exceptions. Please do. Although I can't help but feel that much will fall under the exceptions umbrella. I do apologize about that. However... Oh, I didn't mean to sound critical of you. This arrangement doesn't violate the terms of our agreement in any way. I'm just sure you appreciate that we cannot allow complete free reign a la a certain society's agents. Of course. That degree of freedom would not befit a corporate setting. Huh. Now, I am very interested in the actions of Van Arkride and his personal hollow. Just as much as I anticipate perusing your own data from your time there. I'm counting on you, Ms. Twinings. I will not disappoint you, Mr. Thorndike. Our Duke truly is an enigma. Even to those in it like me. They prioritize profit above all else, but also use a perfect mixture of truth and lies to blur just how far their reach really extends. But I suppose I'm in no position to decry that. Well then, it's time I started work for today. Oh, there you are. Someone's in a good mood today. Hey, done with school for the day? I sure am. Are you doing some maintenance before work? You're so dedicated. My girl only deserves the best. Oh, yeah. New core used to use cars to get around too, right? He pops the car buff at all? I don't know if I'd say that. He drives a Lino. Oh, I know. Oh, but he's pretty picky about his tires and shock absorbers, whatever those are. I bet. If you're driving across mountains and deserts all the time, you need only the best. You have no idea how much work I had to put into tuning her up so we'd have a smooth ride over the sand dunes of Tharbad. Really? I never would have guessed you did anything special. Oh, okay, let me give you a primer. So the most important tweaking you can do is to the suspension, right? And... What's that over there? Yeah, that. It came from Malsign this morning. It's a present from the Crown Prince. That's right. I threw in a bonus on top of your base reward, so you have something extra to look forward to. It will arrive separately. There's a custom part made with top quality materials. And I mean top quality. Being successive to the throne means real money to burn. Kind of pisses me off that he conveniently sent it just as it was starting to get a little too snug for everyone to fit in. It's design designed to add more seats to the back of the car, then. Huh, how'd you guess? I think I've told you this before, but I've got a brother who left our core and set out on his own. When he came back to the village for a brief visit last year, he had something like that attached to his car, too. Now, it's possible he's got a different car now. Gotcha. He's probably riding the same one, if I'd guess. Think so? Hm, maybe you're right. I thought I might find you here, Van. And hello, Fairy. Ah, uh, yes! You always get here ten minutes early. I don't mind you being a little more lax, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you don't, but it's a hard habit to break once you've started. <sighs> Guess that means I can hit the hay a while longer then. You should try taking a page or two out of her book, Mr. Serial Nightcrawler. Hey, what I do in my free time's my business, Chief. <laughs> 
You do know it's almost noon. Yeah! Almost noon! I'm glad to see everyone gathered. Now get some grub and get out of here before the lunch rush hits. Get out of here! Thanks a bunch! <laughs> Let's go eat, guys! Sure thing. Man, any more people and we won't know where else to put them. <laughs> Maybe, but I think it's nice. Group had an early lunch at Montmartre. Once done, they gathered in the office to plan out their workload. This will be the final day of my trial period. I hope I'll be able to learn quite a bit from you all by the end of it. No, I'm not sure you even have anything to learn at this point. You know so much about everything here that it almost feels like we're the ones learning from you. She's already wrapped up all our pain in the ass paperwork too. You should just make her the boss and be done with it. Hell no. It really is a big help having you here. You're not an assistant so much as a superhero. Well, I'm sure you got your share of other stuff to do elsewhere, so no need to cross every T and dot every I on my account. Yeah, it's not doing the crew any favours to be so dry on work either. Start making some time for yourself. Oh, but I couldn't. Um, I know I'm not as capable as you, but I'll work hard to now the gap between us. So please, let me share some of the load. Everyone needs a good work-life balance. I'm here to help too. Why? If she wants to do all the tedious shit, just let her. Especially since someone's got something else on their mind just eating away at them. Um, well, you just want an excuse to be lazy. Your wild combat style already makes you hard to fight with, you know. You wanna take this outside, small fry? Let's do it. It's enough, you two. I would much rather all of you would be able to focus on your studies and hobbies. But if you insist, I'll endeavour to use some of my time for my own benefit. Glad to hear it. So, it goes without saying that Rosette's coming with me today, but so is Anne, yes. Her rebel staff has just been updated and I wanted to try out this new service I've been hearing about. Oh, that sounds good. I guess she would be a lot more suited to that than me. <laughs> Pretty sure I can master it in minutes if I give it a whirl. I don't know, might be tough for someone with a wild combat style. Anyway, still gonna bring one of you two to round us out. Whoever's left to be handling the office work, shopping, stuff like that. No slacking allowed. I wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, sure. Or even pick them. Let's go with Aaron. So, let's go see what this new service is about, shall we? Use it from a special computer in your room, right, Rizet? Yes. I'll point it out to you. Let's do this. Alright. Let's save the game. And for now, I'm done, so. Um, I might decide to stream, like, Path of Exile or something later on. So keep an eye out, but if not, then this is today's stream, obviously. But either way, thanks for hanging out and chatting and whatnot. And if I don't see you later, then have a good one. Take it easy.